So I went on Steam and they have a sale every single week. The prices, the games, they all change. Every single week there's a week sale. So instead of looking at all the games that, you know, might be great and on sale, I decided I was going to look for the cheapest and the most decent looking game there. And boy did I find something. I found a game called Velvet Assassin which came out in 2009 and it's only around 40 cents right now. And I thought to myself, hey, it's only like 40 cents. It kind of looks like Hitman. But instead of Agent 47, you have like Agent Velvet. I mean, just look at the trailer real quick. I know, I know what you're saying. I, I, I know what you're going to say, at least after you see the trailer. Uh, yeah, I did have to pull the trailer from IGN because I couldn't find it elsewhere. Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. Now, one thing that the trailer shows kind of poorly, in, well, at least in that trailer, is uh, it shows a bunch of action. Like, you're just shooting people in the face. You're running around like like you're just this person in, in World War II just killing a bunch of Nazis or whatever. But that is not even close to what the game is. So, first off, the game has a terrible shooting mechanic. We'll get into that later. And it, it actually, like, has a penalty for shooting if you're... It's somewhat loud if you're loud at all or you make any sort of noise or they spot you at all this game just punishes you so much all right enough of that let's get into the actual the game the gameplay the story the the characters the um the graphics i mean what, everything about this game let's get into it the intro to the game the intro cutscene is uh it's all right uh it's not it's not the best it's not that good it's just it's just kind of there that's about all I got to say for that so let's start with the controls for the game the controls for this game are terrible I, I they're just they're just awful okay every time you go to do something it's just press this button the same but you want to climb up a ladder press left click you want to assassinate someone press left click you want to pick something up press left click you want to jump over this press left click click all you're doing is just pressing left click to do everything this is one of the assassination animations right here try saying that five times fast um and every time it will fade to this color and just when you're doing things it'll it'll just randomly fade and it feels really weird like when you're climbing up a ladder at the bottom of the ladder you don't see an animation to get on the ladder you see a fade to black and then you're on the ladder and then you get to the top of the ladder and then it fades to black and then you're on the you know you're out of the ladder and then doors they're they're weird because sometimes you'll open a door and it'll just open and you can walk through it other times when you go to open the door it'll fade to black and then boom you're in the room the next thing is the death animation i'm not i'm not even gonna like explain what happens or anything just just watch it and you'll know everything about what i'm about to say oh, <laughs> Now some of you might have multiple questions. One of the first questions you probably have is, why did I not do anything to kill him? You can't, all right? At that point in the game, you can't uh, you can't walk up and melee attack them unless it's a stealth attack. So as soon as you get spotted and they start shooting at you, oh well, you're guaranteed to die right there. Another thing is it has this weird cut where it cuts to black and white and your character just kind of falls on the ground, but at the same time it does that it actually pauses the game the game's time so nothing moves not even the enemies so it's kind of weird your character's like falling and as you can see in this this little you know death animation the enemy just kind of stops moving and then is frozen it's just weird it's a really weird death animation now the next part is actually cool but kind of weird it doesn't really make much sense but it's kind of it's a kind of cool mechanic and it's basically there's a bunch of morphine scattered around the levels and you can only hold one morphine at a time and when you activate the morphine it like switches your I don't know your character just switches clothing or whatever and like these flowers are I don't know it's it looks really weird but the basic mechanic is it uh 
you know, stops time and you're able to, like, walk around enemies and, like, stealth kill all of them. So if enemies start shooting at you, you can use your morphine to, like, walk around behind them and just stab them or something. Kind of like Quicksilver, he's just so fast that you don't really see him running, but... He for him, like, time is, like, super, super slow. And now for the worst part of the game and why I will not play this game anymore because I know it's not going to get any better is the AI. All right, the AI in this game is so bad, it's, it's, it's pretty much unplayable. All right, seriously, any game that you thought has terrible AI has nothing on this game, okay? This game it potentially has the worst AI in any game ever made. Seriously, once I learned how dumb the AI was, the game turned into from like, at first it was like a walk in the park, second it was like, wow, I'm just, it, it's like a, a breeze right through this game. I'm gonna show you guys a couple clips of what I'm talking about. So that was some dumb AI and another thing that I thought was dumb was every time you kill that guy, the guy in the background, by the electric fence, every single time you kill him, no matter how you kill him, you could use morphine and stab him, you could shoot him in the face, you could shoot him in the legs and then the face, no matter how you killed him, if he died, the alarm got set off and then a bunch of people started running through that door with guns and shooting at you, which by the way, the shooting mechanics are terrible in this game now I'm playing this game on PC so if you want to shoot your pistol I had to click the middle mouse button then aim with the mouse then click the left mouse button while holding the middle mouse button to then shoot one bullet so the fact that you have to hold the button and then press a button to shoot and it's a weird awkward buttons uh, just makes it kind of dumb and the shooting doesn't even feel good and the bullets are pretty weak if you don't hit anyone in the head basically uh if you don't hit headshots every single time your bullets do absolutely nothing you can hit a guy in the chest like six times and he still won't die unless you hit him in the head and they have machine guns shooting at you and you have this silenced pistol so it's it's super difficult and it's not even difficult in a good way it's just terrible now for the last thing is the graphics I would say the graphics since this game came out in 2009 I'd say the graphics are all right they're not too bad so is this game worth 40 cents no no it is not all right I would not recommend playing this game um, I would give a hard pass on this game I think uh, the only way someone you know should give this game a try is if this game was free but even then I would say it's a it's a, it's a, it's a good pass mostly because the mechanics are so broken anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that like button leave in the comments below tell me what you guys think about this game if you guys played this game and what you guys think about this video if you haven't already hit that subscribe button because you want to be subscribed and I will see you guys next time.